Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something super interesting and um, I couldn't believe it when I was reading the specs until I contacted Bingo and I asked him, is it true? And they said, yes it is. So here it is, it's this guy. And this is a transmitter called a T8SG and it's called the Jumper or the, I don't know, the company's called possibly Jumper. So taking a quick look at it, it comes with a nice bag as a beginning. So that's always a big plus. Hopefully it doesn't lack anything else, which is why they're giving us the bag here. So let's crack this guy open here. All right, there we go. So they give us this nice orange strap. It's good, it's a big plus. And they give us the device itself. Now the device itself, um, you know, the first impressions, I mean, on the picture, this looks huge, okay? But in real life, it's 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 actually smaller than the fly sky. I mean, in width, it's smaller. In thickness, it's a bit fatter. And um, it does have with it a removable antenna here, which is pretty good. I don't I don't expect very large range with this. But what's so cool about this is it takes basically everything, even the toys. I mean, not all toys, but it does even can bind the toys. FR Sky, Fly Sky, Spectrum. It's just insane. I went through the manual. It has almost every protocol, which is pretty cool and pretty crazy. So this is pretty awesome. And um, this this has its uses. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a good, you know, just to be your main transmitter. But as a backup transmitter, I think it would be fantastic, to be honest. Uh, because this way you can get whatever you want and just buy whatever you want. Uh, however, there's some things I didn't like about it. I haven't even turned it on just yet. We're going to turn it on together. We're going to try to bind a fly sky and we're also going to bind a FR sky. But before we begin, it does not come with a battery. And the gimbals, they feel pretty good actually. I'm not going to lie, they feel pretty good. But look, they look, they're so tiny. They feel like little baby gimbals. It's crazy. So uh, they do have good deflection. So that's also a big plus. And uh, let me just put this into comparison. I'm going to go grab a fly sky transmitter and the, uh, we're just going to grab a QX7 transmitter as well and just kind of compare them and get a size reference here. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed actually four transmitters just to show you. And first we're going to start off with the fly sky transmitter here just to get an idea of what I mean by baby gimbals. And you see there's pretty much, it's um, difficult to diff kind of difficult to show you but there you go and um, what you can see is that the gimbals here are a tad bit smaller they feel super tiny but I mean they feel very good actually I'm not gonna lie they feel absolutely beautiful um, here they feel very good as well uh, I'm, not, I'm not complaining fly sky is absolute beast here but this one overall I don't know it just it feels like it's cute maybe that's the word for it i don't know what to call it it's crazy it's super tiny uh, but i really i really like it for some reason i have not even used it yet but we're going to go ahead and check out the features we're also going to be testing latency shows just wait a bit now so just a quick comparison it's around the same size as the fly sky the fly sky is a bit longer this one's a bit thicker um not by much they're probably actually about the same thickness except this bottom part is what makes it believe that what makes me believe that it's a bit thicker so overall it in terms of portability it's very good so far from the size perspective at least and here we're gonna grab a QX7 just to show you the size difference it's um it's very noticeable very noticeable so this is just absolutely huge um, so it is pretty tiny um, it's maybe this is like three-fourth the size of this thing here and here I have a Spectrum DX6 and this one was provided to me by Kyle and Kyle another big shout out to you um, I will be doing the latency testing on the Spectrum very soon to compare with the FR Sky but as you can see the difference here um, it's very noticeable and um, yeah it's just this, this guy is a, it's a baby so alright let's put this guy to the side now Alright, so I'm pretty sure if you guys were interested in this, you've probably seen some of the reviews on this, but we're just going to quickly go over some of the stuff here. Uh, these come with, these are all three, posi three pos position switches. They have four three position switches, and we have two potentiometer style switches. Uh, there's no indent in the middle, they're just, you know, they're just, you know, that's it, you know. Their potentiometer switches we do have trim buttons which is very good it's a big plus and we have our menu buttons and all that kind of crazy stuff and they just give us a screen power on is just on and off so that's all there is to it so let's go ahead and take a look at the back side and um this is kind of weird in a way um as you can see here there's even a usb port 
Let me just remember. There it is. There's a USB port. I don't know what that's used for just yet. Possibly some kind of emulation. You could probably connect it to your PC. We'll also be doing this. We'll figure this out once we do the uh, hardcore just overview of this device here. And as you can see here, it takes a uh, 2S type balance uh, connector for the battery. So you're going to have to be powered in this guy with a two cell here. Or you could use possibly two lithium ion batteries to get it going i don't know if two lithiums would fit in there but they, they might fit i'm not sure but i highly doubt it so you need something to fit in this this area right here i don't know how long this goes in but we're going to measure it right now real quick all right so i didn't bring my digital scale i wanted to bring this scale instead and this is going to be very difficult to actually measure because i can't fit this through yeah 30 30 in width and 15 in height millimeters so some kind of battery that would fit in here I think I have some micro batteries or I might just make my own custom adapter right now to actually get this guy going. But um, yeah, so let me go ahead and prepare something for this guy and uh, we're going to come back and we're going to try to bind a fly sky and a FR sky and see how simple it is. This is going to be my first time. Let's see how easy it is and how awesome this could be. So be right back. All right, so I found myself a micro two cell battery I had laying around. Let's just quickly see how much voltage this thing has here. And um... Oh, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this was something like this would fit, but I don't know how long it'll last yet. So let's just see how easy it is to actually put this through. It's not going to be that bad. Oh, and there we go. So let's just stick this guy in actually. Make it nice. All right, that fit perfect. Later on, I'll check power consumption. We can see uh, what you can expect from this guy. So here we go, um, and we have here a, what is this? This is an FR Sky, and if you missed the build on this guy, this is a custom build one, it's not that ready-made one. Uh, you can go ahead, I'll leave a link down below so you can check out the build video of this guy. This guy is pretty damn sexy, I haven't even flown him yet though. So all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. So let's say model menu. Okay, so this is enter. Model setup. Model name, icon, model type, does it matter? We'll call it multi. There we go. Oh, you can even put the transmitting power up to 150 milliwatts. Okay, so 150 ppm. No, so there's spectrum. So I think this is how we would edit it, possibly. Let's see. Enter. No. Here. So this is on spectrum. This Oh, there we go. Okay, so we click right. So this is Fly Sky. Okay, and this is the second protocol. Awesome. Okay. Wow. Okay, so here's FR Sky. Oh, what is this? We're not using FR Sky X or V8. So I believe we're just going to be sticking to regular FR Sky here. Enter. Telemetry. This even has telemetry, I guess. So I don't have telemetry set up, but we'll leave that for another video. Okay, and uh, we scroll down. And I guess we click Bind. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to bind this guy. Scrub myself a battery. All right, so it has these two nice little thingies that are going on. I think it came out of bind mode, so we're gonna have to click that into bind mode. Okay, so I guess we have to be pretty quick here, which is possibly kind of annoying, maybe, if you're in a hurry here. So let's just hold that, but yeah, we're out of bind mode again. So let's actually just set this guy to bind mode real quick, and then we're gonna try to bind it that way. All right, guys, so it's on. Actually, it's on um, FR Sky X, and this is pretty cool. Actually, once you click on FR Sky X, you even have check this out FCC or EU standards, so you don't even have to format your receiver, your transmitter to actually get it to connect if you have an EU version receiver. So it is working. However, there's something you guys need to take note of. Um, it's backwards. I mean, it's inverted. The throttle is perfect, but if I pitch to the right, it actually, I mean, roll to the right, it's actually rolling to the left. So I'm going to try to figure out quickly, uh, let's go ahead and check it out, let's see where we're going to fix that real quick, see where we're gonna, we can fix that actually. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is after we get out, because we, we would be in model setup, so you have to like exit model setup and go to your mixers. And once it gives you the mixer, so aileron is roll, so what we're going to do is press enter, and you see it reverse, we want it to reverse. So in theory, like this, if I go exit, I think it's saved. And if I do this now, oh, sorry, it's perfect. So you do have to reverse everything except your throttle, which is uh, channel number four, which is the rudder, as it states here. 
All right, guys, so now let's just add a arming channel here. So this is going to be a bit tricky, I guess. So let's just check this out now. Um, all right, so here's channel six. We're just going to click it. And I think I figured it out. So here's, I think, yeah, there we go. So we set this like so. And I guess we just exit. And let's just go ahead and set for channel six arm. Hopefully this will work. I haven't seen anyone's videos. I'm just trying to go about this on my own without any documentation and see how well it's going to work. So in theory, if I click this, it should arm. Perfect. But I see here I'm getting value of 1,500, so it's already halfway clicked. So I'm not getting full advantage of the three positions here. But um, I believe we can just uh, play with the mixer to do that, really. So overall, it's working. So this is acting like a two-position switch right now. And uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, bottle was up. Oh my god, this guy's a beast. Alright, so um, overall, that was pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and yeah. Alright, guys, so what are my first impressions? Um, I like it. it, it has a little bit of a learning curve, just a tiny bit, not as bad as an FR Sky. Uh, just looking through the manuals, I think we could figure it all out. But obviously, I mean, it's working perfect. There we go. Just turn it on. And just all I need to fit, all you need to basically figure out, and we'll do that later on, is when we figure out how to get these to be actual three position switches. Currently, it's working perfect right there, as you can see. So, there we go. And um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, so, that's just insane, you know. You're going to be able to run FR Sky, Fly Sky, Spectrum. And um, all the all, most of the protocols of the FR Sky you're going to be running, which is pretty insane actually. And in a nice little package, I really like the package. Um, I don't know how many models can this actually fit, so let's actually check that out before we uh, end this video here. And we we're going to start tearing this guy apart to do the latency testing. So model setup. Okay, so basically we have 30 models in this guy, but I think I saw Albert Kim saying that you can just connect basically, the, you know, those little mini ones to the same model. So just have the same settings on Betaflight and you'll be good to go. So overall, this is actually a pretty, pretty darn good uh, backup radio. I, I would not recommend this as to be your primary radio at all. Um, because, you know, to be honest, you know, just holding this right here under the table, I have a table right here, just like right here, right below this, just a little bit down. Um, I, I, I couldn't get signal. So, now I can, so that, that was strange. But um, I'm sh pretty sure the antenna needs changing. And as you read, you c it's broadcasting at around 150 milliwatts. So it's not really much. And it is, it's going to be legal almost everywhere. Uh, because this is not going to do much. But maybe we can uh, mod this guy and make him even better. I'll look into it and see what we can do. But overall, I mean, as a backup radio, it's pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Or like if you have a couple quads and you would like someone to come flying with you, go ahead and grab this. Um, it's not bad at all. So if my brother were to come, I'd actually let him use this with the micros or something. So it's overall, it's a good backup radio. I, would, I don't think it's going to be a good first radio but it can be but that's up to you if uh, i would rather go with the fly sky um just because but this is pretty cool but it, you can feel that it's not going to be as strong or as powerful as the fly sky however the features in it are just absolutely amazing and it's about time someone did this and uh it's pretty cool and i know some of you down in the comment section be like yeah but there is also that module for the fr sky i also have that i haven't played with it just yet but this is a nice full complete package here for you um just a nice little backup radio in case anything happens uh, the gimbals are not the best in the world they're pretty tiny and um yeah well that's all i could really say right now until we take it apart so maybe it'll be the fastest radio of everything in the market which will be pretty interesting and pretty funny as well so just stay tuned and we'll take this guy apart and check his latency to compare it with the others and um that's gonna include it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i'll see you next time see you guys take care